If a new type D flashlight battery has a voltage that is outside certain limits, that battery is characterized as failure. And if the battery has a voltage within the prescribed limits, it's assumed to be a success. Suppose an experiment consists of testing each battery as it comes off as a simple line until we first observe a success. Although it may not be very likely, a possible outcome of the experiment is that the first 10 or 100 or 1,000 are failures. And the next one is a success. That is, for any positive integer n, we may have to examine n batteries before seeing the first success. The first, the sample space can be written this way. The first observation is success. The first observation is failure. Then you have a success. The first two observations are failure. Then you have a success. The first three observations are failure. Then you have a success and so on, which contains an infinite number of possible outcomes. The simple events are just success, failure, then success, two failures in a row, then success, three failures in a row, then success, and so on. Well, suppose the probability of any particular battery being satisfactory is 99% then it can be shown that the probability of first event is 99%. The probability of second event is 1% times 99%. The probability of third event is 1% times 1% multiplied by 99% and so on. Well, if the pattern is familiar to you, you can see that the probability of E1 plus the probability of E2 plus the probability of E3, which is the union of all of these probabilities, events must be equal to the probability of sample space, which is one. But remember the geometric series from calculus, A plus AR plus AR squared plus AR cubed plus the rest of them can be written as A divided by 1 minus R. So you have 99% multiplied by 1 plus 1%, 1 percent, 1 percent squared, 1 percent to the third, and so on. So you can basically write this as 99% times 1 divided by 1 minus 1%. One we can simplify this as well. 99% times you have 1% divided by 1 minus 1%. Point ninety-nine percent You can cancel these two out. It doesn't have any percent on top, so let me fix this for you. So you can see that here. Let me rewrite this. Okay. It's equal to 99%, and here you get 1. Divided by, here you have just 100 minus One minus one percent. So if you simplify this, it must be equal to one, as you can see. So this is the use of geometric series that you saw in pre-calculus and also reviewed this in calculus. In calculating the probability.